To log into cPanel for the first time, you'll put in your username, which should be your first initial and your last name, and the default password is JavaScript, all lowercase, J-A-V-A-S-C-R-I-P-T, and you will log in. Now, if your cPanel doesn't look like mine, check the theme. There are two themes here, and some of the tutorials were done in the older theme, which works pretty much the same, but has things in a slightly different spot, has a different appearance, um, so it's, they're not perfectly identical. The new default has changed recently to be Paper Lantern, so that's probably what yours was created in. Now the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to change your password. So you can go into your Preferences, Password and Security, put in your old password, and then put in a new password. And then choose Change Your Password Now. So now I'm going to go back to Home, and it's going to make me log in. with the new password. And now I'm going to move on to the file creation portion or the folder creation portion of the exercise. So we're going to do almost all of our work when we're in cPanel where we will typically be using File Manager. And we'll be doing almost everything in the public HTML folder. So you'll want to double click on this to get into the folder. Once you're inside the public HTML, it'll show up here. And you are going to create two new folders. You're going to create a folder with your name, and you can use either just your last name or if you do first and last name. Make sure that you put a hyphen between the two, and don't use any capital letters in any of your file names. Create the new folder. And then I also want to show you how to create a hidden folder, because if you choose to keep your web pages private and not available to everybody on the internet, you can do that for any assignment you choose. So we're going to password protect and hide a folder. We're going to call it private. And then we're going to right click on the folder and we're going to password protect it. We're going to click password prote protect this directory and we'll give it the name private. And we'll save. And then we'll have to go back to add me to it. So the username is Mary, and the password should be JavaScript, and that's J-A-V-A-S-C-R-I-P-T with no spaces. And so now I've created a private directory. Now it's important to test everything you do on the internet. To get to your website, you're going to type in your first initial and your last name. I'm using Mary Demo dot mccdgm dot net and you should not see private so this worked except for the fact that I have done this already once because I was testing this um, and let me and then I deleted and recreated that so let me test it again in a different browser because what happens is once I've put in that username and password when this comes back up it remembers it and automatically authenticates it. So if I try it here, it's missing. So if you try yours more than once in the same browser, don't be surprised if it shows up. What we should be seeing the first time that you log in is that private is invisible. You'll actually have to type that into the um, address bar, and then you'll have to put in Mary and JavaScript, and then I should be able to log in and I'm in this folder. It's important to know how to do this in case you want to hide your work from the rest of the internet. So when you are done, you don't want to include the private link here. You're just going to highlight the address to your page and then Control C or Command C to copy that address. You'll go to Canvas and you'll submit that to hand in your assignment.